Well, hello, Shoreline. It is Wednesday, December 23rd's devotional time, and we are right on the edge of Christmas Eve. I want to encourage you, if you haven't done it already, uh, go online and register for one of our three on-campus Christmas Eve services or plan to be at church online with us and invite someone to come along with you. What a great time to send a note to somebody and say, listen, come join me on campus or come join me online but let's go to church together and we're going to be celebrating Jesus Christ. I want you to listen today to these words uh, from John, uh, from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, uh, and we're going to begin in verse 4. And this is, again, just a little bit more of the Christmas story and the birth of Jesus. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem in the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. What a humble beginning for God coming into human history. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping their watch over the flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. What that must have looked like, because it says, and they were terrified. Shepherds were not uh, mild-mannered folks. They, they were tough, hard-working people, but they were terrified. But the angel of the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will, be, that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. And the story goes on. It's powerful that God had arrived in human history. So just a few thoughts to reflect on. First, that God came quietly and God came humbly. In, in a world that's all about splash and show, uh, Jesus came in quietly to a humble place in a humble way. Now, he was God Almighty, wrapped in human flesh, but he came with great humility. May that encourage us this Christmas season to walk with humility, to understand that God's on the throne, that Jesus Christ is Lord, the Spirit's at work, and we're his servants. And just come with humility as you share that good news with other people in the Christmas season. Then I think it's very interesting when you read this passage to discover that the first group of people that were invited were outcasts. Shepherds were not in the mainstream of society. As a matter of fact, in the courts of that time in the first century, a shepherd was not allowed to be a witness in court. They just weren't trusted. They, they were a rough and, and tumble bunch of just hard-working, salt-of-the-earth kind of people, and, uh, and, and yet, who does God go to and, and announce this to? Shepherds. I love that. Everyone's invited. And then, third and finally, who invites them? Angels, heavenly hosts, these heavenly beings. I love that picture, kind of the continuum. Here's God coming into human history. Jesus born, God with us, Emmanuel. Shepherds are invited. Heavenly beings announce the invitation. Everyone's invited from glorious angels of heaven to common, hardworking shepherds. What a reminder to us that we were invited wherever we were in life. God invited us. And then an encouragement to invite somebody else. There may be someone in your life that you say, Man, they're kind of like a shepherd. They're pretty rough. They're pretty kind of, kind of sharp edges to them. They probably wouldn't show up at a Christmas Eve service tomorrow. Or they probably wouldn't show up if I invited them to come online. But maybe they would. Here's what I know for sure. God invites them. Now let's partner with him and invite somebody between right now and our three services tomorrow. Go online, get the service times. Send somebody a link if they're going to watch it online. If they're out of town, out of state, out of the country. But let's invite people to gather with us on campus or to gather with us online tomorrow at all three of the services. And then again, uh, this, this coming Sunday, uh, we're going to have a, a great time of worshiping. But this particular worship service coming up this coming Sunday is all online. We're doing no on campus. So right after Christmas, online service, if you show up on campus, enjoy the beauty of it. We won't be here. And actually, the next Sunday, we're all online also. So the Sunday right after Christmas and right after New Year's, all online, 9 and 11. So join us tomorrow for Christmas Eve services. Join us Sunday online. And God bless you. If I, if I haven't said it yet, Merry Christmas. Have a great couple of days coming up. God bless you.